This is the free motion quilting tutorial for tornadoes. This design is stitched by first starting with a zigzaggy tornado shape. And you just start skinny and work your way until you get a nice wide uh, kind of almost thread painted uh, triangle. And then you're going to pivot and echo that two or three times to create a nice triangle shape on the surface of your quilt. Then you're just simply going to get started again and it's really just kind of this back and forth almost scribble effect and it really works well. Very very speedy actually but just be careful about how much thread you're building up. If you build up too much thread your thread might break if you stitch in one area for too long. Just simply pivot and echo to expand that design and make it stand out nicely on the surface of your quilt and then travel stitch into a new area and start another tornado scribble. You'll notice that this design is a variation of pointy paisley. Uh, it's a pivoting design and pointy paisley just simply starts with a triangle and is echoed with more triangles. This starts with this uh, jagged triangle shape and is echoed with triangles. They're very similar but this one stands out so much darker thanks to that thread play and dark thread painting texture. It's very very interesting and you can see it fits very nicely even in tight complicated spaces. I'm kind of squishing this in in between those first two tornadoes and it's working quite nicely simply because uh, it really doesn't matter how wide you go with this. You can just simply um, fill in the space with a scribbly tornado and then travel stitch into a new area and create another design somewhere else. Now as for where I would use this design, I don't think that I would necessarily use this on a bed quilt. I would use pointy paisley on a bed quilt, but I don't know that I would use tornadoes on a bed quilt simply because of the density of the thread texture of how dense those stitches are getting. Of course you don't have to make them that dense. You can leave them as open as the, triangle, the tornado you see right now before I've stitched back over it and darkened it heavenly. You know you could just do a very open zigzag and that would work. The biggest thing is you know most quilters don't like a very stiff quilt or don't like kind of um, really hard or stiff things on their quilt and that's the only reason why I'm saying it probably wouldn't be a good choice for a bed quilt. You are going to have some little weird areas every once in a while. That's typical for free motion quilting. And the best way to do it is just simply work your scribble in and then work in some lines of echo quilting wherever you can. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish tornadoes. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, go to freemotionproject.com.